if the code didn't run for you, and if you got an error about the dot star operation, then the version of MATLAB you're using could be too old. You may need to update your version of MATLAB in order to run the simulation. Here are the two plots that I got when I ran the simulation. So this edge of the grid is the ground, so that's why we have the total field scatter field goes all the way down to the ground. There's no PML on this side, so we don't have to worry about total field scatter field intercepting the PML. But there's PML on the other sides. And this is then on the right, it's a plane through the center of the grid, and there's PML on all um, four sides. Now, I didn't draw this PML to scale since the PML is 10 cells thick. All right, well now we want to apply this model to our design challenge. To do this, we should add the simplified vertical section of a crane to this model. In the code I provided, I used a high frequency source so that we could more easily see the sinusoidal wave propagate across the grid. So you'll want to go in and change the frequency of the sinusoid to the frequency of the AM transmitter that we're considering. So F naught here should be equal to 1280 kilohertz. As a next step, I suggest you go ahead and add the crane to the model as well. Let's assume the crane is made of steel, and the conductivity of steel is 5E7 sievens per meter. Also assume the crane starts one meter above the ground. So if this is the ground, we have one meter, and then the crane itself is a cylinder, is not drawn to scale. This is going to be 60 meters long. Now remember we only want to model the crane on a string of EZ components so that it is a cylinder that is about one meter wide. So this will be comprised of a whole bunch of EZs and we don't want to model the crane on any of the other components in the grid. Find an efficient way to model the crane along a string of easy components without adding any if statements to the time-stepping loop.